Oh yeah, that, that was a fucking long ass line though. Yep, you just heard him, the big line we were waiting for. I mean, it's still kind of going on in the windows you can see back there. Look at that. That was just for will call. Hmm, right? Fuck, I thought I was safe, but no. <laughs> No, I thought you were just gonna like walk in the door. Hell yeah. The Monster Palooza, we are here. This is at the Pasadena Convention Center. Last time we were here, Halloween 35 Years of Terror, almost three years ago. That's right. I was happy as shit that day. I got all the Michael Great Myers convention. Out, like one shot. Hell yeah. Tom Adkins, fucking the man. Um, to get an idea, we also I also went on the Horrors Hall of Grounds tour that year, which you could see on the uh, Halloween box set edition that was released on Blu-ray right. not too long ago. Fucking like, I wanted to go over there now. Oh, so experience of a lifetime. <laughs> but we'll be exploring some Haddonfield later on, maybe in this video, we'll see. We also have UIPW tonight. That's fucking right, can't wait for that shit. Woo. Last time we went to UIPW, well, we'll let the video here tell what happened. Oh man, I'm still feeling it right here in the heart when he got me. Teddy Hart, man. Oh. <laughs> that was, that was wild. Hilarious. So, and something else also happened. What's that? Not UIPW related, but wrestling related. The Tuesday after the Hollywood show, I met this guy. Okay, so, yeah. Holy shit, this is Dean Ambrose, folks. Dean Ambrose. Ambrose. Fuck yeah, yeah, Dean Ambrose. Meet and greet. Fucking A. Oh, Dean Ambrose, I went from one asylum to another. <laughs> Monster Palooza, <laughs> fuck yes. I fucking still hate you for that. I wanted to go do that so bad. I'm like, why the fuck did it have to be like two hours away? Uh, <laughs> now, now you finally feel my pain, having to come up here always for two hours. <laughs> oh no shit, man. Hey, man uh, it's worth it. It's worth it. Now we're going to go walk around, see what we get, and hopefully autographs. Definitely going to get a pinhead autograph. Or two, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> or three. Or three. <laughs> Monster Palooza 2016, here we go. Let's do this shit. Yeah, says uh, the Frappuccino drinker right here. That's right, Predator in the house. Monster Palooza, holy shit. Oh. <laughs> he says, I'm gonna be back Sunday when uh, a certain guest from Predator will be here. <laughs> wow, holy Godzilla, man. We got all the legends from Godzilla here. Holy shit, including the original himself, Nakajima. Holy shit. That is so fucking cool. Godzilla himself is right there. Too cool. Well, we were talking about wrestling earlier, and this was supposed to be her spot at Monster Palooza, China. Rest in peace. A real pioneer. I mean, the first woman wrestler in, on the mainstream stage to really kick ass, take names. I mean, I know little of Sean did that in ECW before that, but China, she was the one who put it out there for the masses. She's a real pioneer. We're gonna miss her. Thanks for the memories, China. Holy shit, Chris. This thing has grown, hasn't it? <laughs> this thing is huge, this convention this year. I love it. Way fucking bigger than Burbank. Yeah. That's and, for damn sure. and there's another room over there with more vendors. More to come. Dark Side DVD is right over here. Look at this. You get all kinds of uh, DVDs from different regions is what this company is known for. You can get Asian titles, European titles. Like exploitation. Yep. All hard to find. There's the man himself right there. Hell yes. Making them sales happen. Yeah, we got some fun stuff. I'm about to buy something from this booth. That's for damn sure. Dark side DVD. Lick my thing, you dog dick. Get that bitch. Get that bitch. That's right. Dog will hunt. Dog will hunt. You can't even find them on eBay. Finding it, <laughs> wow, watch tomorrow. Nothing they, clean, right? Them, oh, look at this. In this room is where the VHS swap is going on with Daniel and Lo-Fi Video, man. Let's go on in, see what we got. Oh, man. Got everything all set up here. Wow. Buy or die time. Lo-Fi Video making it happen. Holy shit, it's Kathleen Kidman. 
the bride from Bride of Reanimator right there. Wow. There's David Delval over here. It's a little dark in here. So sorry about that, but uh, that was unexpected. <laughs> Got everybody with the vendors here. VHS tapes. Man, quickly horror workout t-shirt right here. Lo-fi video. Hell yes. Wow, from Ashley Lawrence too. Dude. That's so cool. I got all kinds of shit over here to buy, and there he is himself. Elliot Spencer, Kinhead, Hellraiser. Fuck yes. Oh Chris, look who interrupted your proceedings here. Wow. Two legends right there, man. <laughs> Epic right there. Whoa, holy Roger Corman. Women in cages here at uh, Monster Palooza. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what happens if uh, she's alone here? Wait, Chris, you were referring to Citizen Toxin? Holy shit, it's Ron Jeremy. What is he doing here always? He's usually everywhere, isn't he? I haven't seen him. <laughs> yeah. oh. Freddy Krueger appearance right over here. Jackie, is he trying to show us around? They're actually taking the pictures. Where is he? Yeah. Pinhead, holy shit. Wow, now we are at the Rotten Cotton booth then. We got a Black Devil doll sighting. She's one of the main victims. I have a t-shirt where she gets cut up. That's her. That's the main Black Devil doll victim. Holy shit. Man, oh man. So we've had Freddy Krueger, we've had Pinhead, my top two favorite horror icons of all time, and now my number three favorite horror icon statue is over here. Oh, we gotta love the tall man. Oh man. Hey, Chris, look what else we have over here, man. I think tomorrow. It's your favorite movie from 2015. I know. Weapon X 1990, you can ask him, he is the biggest Mad Max fan of all time, aren't you, man? See, you love that movie as much as I love E.T. I fucking hate E.T., so. Writing its dick so fucking bad, I don't get it, you know? I agree, it's fun, but not amazing. Exactly. Sorry, small time, man. Hell yeah, dude. Tom Savini, man. One of my favorites ever, ever right man. now. One of my faves. Ran right into you earlier, and uh, right. it's been all crazy. The we've whole been, crew. We've each other for like an yeah. hour and a half. We've been like, doing our own thing. It's like uh, all packed here. It gets all crazy. What do you think so far? It's the new good. Like, it's cool. I like it. It's a bigger, like, bigger uh, area. Now. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's kind of like a Comic Con kamikaze, but for, yeah. horror, but for horror. Because you get the banners up here, you know, and stuff. Because it's like that kind of setup. I, I dig like it, though. It. It's cool. It's bigger. I like and it. And this was, at first on paper, I was kind of like, oh, okay. I, I didn't know. Decent. I wasn't was going to cool. work out, but it worked out really good. Oh, Bigger, man. a lot of people here. Look, looks cool, man. Holy I dig shit, it. yeah. All right, so we're back at Buy or Die Fast 5, and I ran into what movie one here, and the Sinistar is here. Oh, I'm shit. Like this. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm representing. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. He's representing that. VHS, man. Right representing here. like a goddamn video. That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. video. See, you guys see anything you like yet? I just, I just oh, other than these girls oh, walking I, I, around? I got some of this in my <laughs> There's some old school porn right there. Oh, look at that. Big huh? box porn. I might have big boxes too. Yeah. yeah big box right? <laughs> big, hairy, yeah. big hairy 70s boxes. Probably, probably. Yeah. <laughs> big clamshells. Oh. Right there. They're right there. You got that right. <laughs> Nasty ones. Wow, Chris. Surprises galore. We ran into Victoria Damar from uh, Killjoy 3 and 4 fame. We ran into David Sterling earlier. Who's, he's actually right over there. That's right. That's right, a David Sterling appearance as always. <laughs> but now we have, earlier it was the actress from Black Devil Dawn, now we have the director of Black Devil Dawn right here at Rotten Cotton. How fucking cool is that? You're just getting lucky all over today with oh, this shit. Surprises galore. <laughs> I'm 
That's for you. Cross. You were pointing it out. We met the Pulp Fiction cast a few weeks back at Days of the Dead. Now here's another Pulp Fiction guy. He it looks kind of mean right now. I think he could use some big burger. I think that's what he wants with a sprite to wash it down. Yeah, it's from the yeah. Wow, oh, insane. Insane. Oh, the main mission of the day for me today, Chris. That's right. And Bethia from Predator. What's uh, one line that she's famous for? What, uh, Dame la arma! <laughs> Give me the weapon! <laughs> awesome. We are here at Fire Die Fest 5. Damn. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, Kathleen Kinner right here. Fire the 3256, director Tom McLaughlin right there. Holy shit. We'll turn out on Sunday. And right in the corner, right back there, is Camp J. Hall and Frank Stevenson. Wow, and it's Sunday here at Fire Die Fest 5, and we still have a David Sterling appearance. He's got his own fucking t shirt. <laughs> Holy shit, David Sterling Productions. <laughs> Alright, so we escaped Monster Palooza over at the Pasadena Convention Center, and when we're in Pasadena, we're also pretty much in Haddonfield, so here we are. What a way to open it, the Myers house. This is your first time being here, huh? I'm fucking starstruck. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. And, it's still processing. And you got to meet Nick Castle, you got the shirt going. Shirt oh going. man, hell yeah. Probably in there fucking chilling right now, just like <laughs> waiting for Lori Strode to come by or some shit. Right? Drop oh man. <laughs> Myers house, and then right across the street, of course. We are on Mission Street in Meridian, right across the street from the Myers house, right there is the hardware store. I know, as we were talking about earlier, across the street from the Myers house, right there, the hardware store, where uh, Sheriff Brackett noticed uh, hey, just some kids stealing some stuff, right? Can you believe though that this was the street right here where Michael Myers drove by? Wow, this is a trip. Well, yeah, there's the hardware store from Halloween, right across the street from Michael Myers' house. And then right up that street there, and around, it's another Halloween location. We'll show you. And now we went up the block a little bit from Mission. Here is the alleyway, Halloween 2, Michael Myers, Don, uh, Donald Pleasance going after him and everything. I think I heard some fucking nut screaming right now. He shot somebody like six times or something. Oh, shit. Ah, too bad that fucking house is all the way to hell in uh, Hollywood there. <laughs> oh, shit, right? And then we noticed this as we walk closer. I can't believe this right here. But you see that power pole? Yep. There was always an X on there and it's gone now. That is horrible. The X that was here for so long is gone. Damn. And right over in here, I forget which house it is exactly, the Elrod house is here too. But holy shit, we are in the alleyway, Halloween 2. Fucking A, man. All right, yes, we are finally here on Oxley. It's the famous hedge from 
Halloween. Dude, do you think you think someone's behind this this bush? Oh no. Hey creep. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, it's shit. the fucking edge. And right here, look at that. There you have Annie's house, Annie Brackett. And over here. Linda. Right there is Linda, PJ Soul's house. All right here, but the most important thing is this hedge. Holy shit. Wow. I am tripped out how it's all intact. Good shape. That's so fucking cool. And from the hedge and all that to another stop here in Haddonfield, the Strode House. Laurie Strode lived here in Halloween off of Oxley. Holy shit. And this is right down uh right down the block back behind us from the Myers house. And the hardware store. The hardware store, the alley. Wow, that's crazy, man. But yeah, the Strode house. Unbelievable. And as we uh, come up to the steps right here, as gracious as the person is that lives here, she says we're allowed to look at the pumpkins and everything. We got a cool picture of all the scenes from Halloween. Wow, man. That is a trip. All here at the Strode House. There's the pumpkins there. There's the little stoop that she sat on. Wow, all right here at the Strode House. Fucking A. Oh, man. So we left Haddonfield now for a little bonus after leaving the Strode House. This Keros restaurant on the corner of Mission and Fremont here in Pasadena. Yes, that's the restaurant Sarah Connor worked at in The Terminator. Man, man, uh, any kid uh, gonna be getting a tip for ice cream? Oh, shit, right? I was wondering that myself. Ha <laughs> ha! Well, there it is. It's a Karo's now, but that's where Sarah Connor worked at in Terminator. Alright, guys, time to show you what I hoarded up on at Monster Palooza. Starting off with this really cool looking t shirt signed by El Pide Carillo from Predator. Holy shit, very creature from the Black Lagoon like with the Predator carrying her. Oh man, I'm not gonna wear this shirt. Fuck no, this is gonna be framed. Damn, so cool. But there's some more Predator madness. Yes, I got Predator signed by Elpidia. Dame la arma! Bring me the weapon! Oh man, my number five favorite movie of all time. Now signed by Elpidia, Total Sweetheart. Awesome. Bride of Reanimator, signed by Kathleen Kinmont, the bride herself. Man, I had it previously signed by Jeffrey Combs, but now it's signed by Kathleen. This was a German DVD release, I believe. I got it from Dark Side DVD a couple years back, and now covered in signatures. Fuck yeah. And how about some black exploitation? Fred the Hammer Williamson signing Boss. That's right, you read it right there. <laughs> this was also from the Dark Side DVD booth. Under this title right here, the classic black exploitation title, and Fred Williams, when I told him, go Chargers, and uh, yeah, he said, you're gonna suffer like a dog. Your team is only awake half the season. Yeah, to piss off my uh, old divisional uh, Oakland Raider foe there. What can I say? I'm a Chargers fan through and through. And then I got Black Devil Doll signed. I had to get this signed by the director right here. He tossed, <laughs> yes, he signed it with Toss That Salad. That's too funny. But that's not the only person who signed it, no. The main girl herself. Natasha. She signed that. She's the blonde right there. She's on the t-shirt that I wear where the girl's getting cut up. That's her. Let's well, fucking party. Total sweetheart. Awesome, awesome movie. I like Black Devil Doll. Such a fun film. More autographs. How about Hellraiser Inferno? This is not too shabby. Underrated, in my opinion. Little, uh, more of a mystery thriller kind of thing, but I dug it, especially for a fifth film in the series. Why not? Then I had to get Hellraiser Hellseeker signed. Oh, man, back when he was just a nobody before he became mayhem on some Allstate commercials. <laughs> he was, uh, the main guy that Pinhead goes after. Hellraiser Hellseeker, not too shabby. Hellraiser Deader. This is the seventh film, obviously, in the series. Signed by Doug Bradley. I like this movie. It's grown on me. Not too shabby of a little series overall. I'm, I'm a big Pinhead fan, so what can I say? And then my final Doug Bradley autograph that I got, Hellraiser Hell World. 
where Pinhead is in a video game in real life and you gotta determine what's going on, what's real, what's not. Not too bad, especially when Hellraiser Revelations came out and made everything else in the series look golden. Then from Hellraiser to Razor Sharp Studios, Pork Chop. I got this at the VHS Swap I or Die Fest 5. Man, this looks like a fun little slasher. <laughs> Can't wait to watch Pork Chop. Fucking A. But I'm also going to watch Pork Chop 2. That's right, there's a part 2. Rise of the Rhine. <laughs> Oh man, this looks gory and fun. Squeal, little piggy squeal. <laughs> I can't wait to watch these. This is going to be fun. And then there is a part three, Pork Chop 3D. Man, oh man. Razor Sharp Studios making it happen. La Bambola di Satana. Satan's doll. Blu-ray here, Twilight Time. I bought this from Derek Botello, who is the author of The Argento Syndrome. Can't wait to watch this. An interesting little giallo is what I've been told. Then I also made a purchase from Dark Side DVD. Clown on Region 2 DVD. Fuck yes. Eli Roth produced it. Oh man. This is going to be a blast. I cannot wait to see what's in store. And then one last item I got from Dark Side DVD. Paranormal Activity Tokyo Night. I have this, but mine doesn't have subtitles. This one has subtitles. Are you kidding me? Hell yeah. Not a bad little uh, Japanese exclusive sequel, honestly. And then I also got a little soundtrack collection here. House by the Cemetery and Manhattan Baby. Big, big fan of Lucio Fulci, so I rocked this out on the drive back home to San Diego. This thing rocks. A pinhead t-shirt from Doug Bradley's booth. No more remakes, please. It's a waste of good suffering. Or it's a waste of good celluloid. <laughs> and then I also got... Linnea Quigley's Horror Workout T-Shirt. Oh, man. By our good friends at Lo-Fi Video. VHS Buy or Die Fest making it happen. Oh, shit. So that's the end of it all. We had Monster Palooza 2016. A Visit to Haddonfield. VHS Swaps Buy or Die Fest 5. UIPW Highlights. <laughs> oh, fuck. What a weekend. Couldn't ask for more. It was a lot of fun. I can't wait for the next one. Got a lot of shit, and now, well, got to look forward to Finest City Wrestling's underground conflict happening next. So, stay tuned for that, and hope you guys like this video. See you next time. Yeah.